It's sort of like getting on an airplane to go to some fabulous destination, but you've got a 14 hour flight. I can't relate to this at all. <laughs> I, I love it. You have a 14 hour flight on your way to this fabulous destination, but your life for the next 14 hours is going to be on the way to this destination. That's your life. And you only have the ingredients that are on that airplane with you in order to create right now. That's all you're going to mold into place. So you want to find things to focus upon that feel good while you're focusing upon. You want to find pleasure in the food, even though let's face it, it's weird food. No matter how much you paid for the ticket, the food on the airplane is weird. So you've got some adjusting to do before you're really going to appreciate that. There's all kinds of adjustments, self adjustments that you have to make. You have to confine yourself to a relatively small space, which you are sharing with a lot of other people. And sometimes you have to play some mind games with yourself to make you comfortable. Esther was in a first class seat on the way to some fabulous place just a little while ago and when she pushed her seat button she thought she was going into a cat scan now there were people in the back of the plane that would have loved to have had that seat that was going to lay all the way down esther just was not prepared that more than half of her body was going to disappear into some hole <laughs> she didn't expect that to happen she had to adjust to that we're just saying no matter how good or not good you are you have only the ingredients that have surrounded you that law of attraction is going to use as the stuff that's going to respond to the vibration that you've got going now this is the subject of turning thoughts to things isn't it because in any point in time you're standing in an environment here you are in this room this is the ingredients that you've got here and of course you could get up and leave the room there are all kinds of options but we're just saying this environment is the ingredients from which your point of attraction is going to make the life experience that you are living either joyfully or not joyfully so when you acknowledge that I am where I am I am where I am that's profound write that down I am where I am I am where I am and in this manifested place where I am where I'm seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching in the midst of all of that reaction to life experience I am emanating a vibration that's going to bring back from these immediate ingredients immediate results from these immediate ingredients I'm going to get immediate results now I can fantasize about tomorrow and I can ignore everything that's happening here and go deep into my own mind but really as thoughts are turning to things my thoughts are turning to things and they're using the ingredients that are surrounding me don't you think don't you think that's what's happening and so what's the best utilization of these ingredients well the best utilization of these ingredients has to do with the momentum in other words what's your expectation do you expect to live happily ever after do you expect these flight attendants to be wonderful do you expect your pilot to be skilled do you expect the temperature of the cabin to be comfortable do you expect to thrive during this environment in other words what are you evoking from these ingredients and you can't just start now you've started long before now because your propensity to offer a vibration to which the law of attraction is going to respond was underway long before you got into this moment that's what you said sometimes it happens so fast I don't have time to react well it's too late now it's too late now you're in your now and all you've got is response to your ingredients are you following us a little bit but what if in moment 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 you're basking you're deliberately looking for positive aspects you're feeling good about who you are you're taking care of yourself you're breathing deeply what if you have for a while cared about how you feel so much so that you haven't been trying to solve problems you've been basking about things you haven't been criticizing people and demanding results you've been appreciating them and enjoying who they are what if you've tuned yourself to that high frequency of your inner being and now you and your inner being are surrounded by ingredients that are going to prove so delightful to you because these things are always true you always have your inner being and your inner beings influence with you 
you always have some sort of relationship with your inner being it might be sketchy or it might be solid it might be allowing or it might be resistant in other words this is always true in every moment and you have the ingredients of your environment that are going to respond to whatever you've got going on so if you're flying off the handle all the time if you're feeling a lot of strong emotion and it feels to you like you can't control it it's because you were not tending to your vibration in less tense times that's all it means it's all right that it means this but this is what it means this is the answer to your important question it means that too late you're trying to apply vibrational skills after Esther's already shoved you down the slide <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense I get that I get that and it's helpful